Hello everybody, how are you doing today? My name is Captain Jirwa, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a Pokemon Showdown battle I had. This one is in the RU tier, and the team I'm using was uh, made by me and iSmileyZai, and he's a fellow YouTuber, so definitely go check him out, link in the description. But we wanted to bring you guys a live Pokemon Showdown with this team, but I've been having some technical issues at like with my recording software recording Skype, which it used to be able to do fine for some reason, but now it's not. So uh, hopefully we'll get that sorted out and we can bring you alive and it'll show the team more in depth. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's just get right into this. I'm going to lead off with my Steelix just wanting to get my rocks up. He does have the Sand Slash, which is his spinner, but it does not really matter because I have a spin blocker in the form of Spear Tomb, and he does predict me to go into it that turn and goes for Toxic, but it does not really matter because I am Crow Tomb, which is Rest, Sleep, Talk, uh, Dark Pulse, Calm Mind, so I can basically just destroy the Sand Slash and just not care about the Toxic. I just am going for Dark Pulse here, just to try to whittle it down. I didn't want to Calm Mind because he still has things like this Escavalier, which can destroy me. But I do have a good check for the Escavalier and Steelix because it has amazing defense, but he does have a Rotom Mo, which is a huge threat to my team because the only thing that can resist the Leaf Storm are my Scyther and my Mortar, which are both weak to rock. So I basically have to bring my Magmortar here. I take 39%, which means I cannot switch into another Leaf Storm, and he does still have a Slow King. Which I did predict to come in, but it does not really matter because he can take that really well. So I really, really need to get a rapid spin off here, or I need to prevent that Rotom Bow from coming back in safely. But I go into my Slow King, I know I can take those Skulls, and since I have Toxic, I can take down his Slow King. But he also has the Toxic on his Slow King, which is a uh, very smart of him to have. This guy is actually, I believe, in the top 100 in RU along with me. We are basically at the same rating, so this is why this is such a good battle. But I predict him to go into Rotom here as he goes into Galvantula, and I just destroy that thing with a Fire Blast. Like, oh man, that was just... I was so excited when that happened. I thought he was going to bring a Rotom Mo, but he brought a Galvantula, which works just as well, so that thing's dead. But he brings in a Scavalier, I just stayed in, because normally Slowking can outspeed a Scavalier, but he is running enough speed to outspeed Slowking, which is very, very smart to do, because Slowking normally can come in on a Scavalier and kill it with a Fire Blast. So this guy definitely knows what he's doing with his, e with his EVs. But now he brings in Rotom, I predict him to do that, so I go into him on Chan. I know I can take one hit and get off a Drain Punch, but he does, unfortunately, get the crit there, as I just go straight for a Drain Punch. Oh no, I go straight for the Rapid Spin, because I need to get those rocks out of here, here as I uh, was talking about earlier, because, yeah, <laughs> they are seriously hampering my Mag Mortar and my Scyther, because when you have a team built around Banded Scyther, you really need to get the rocks out of there. But I bring in Spear Tomb again, I predict him to go into a Scavalier, as he did that last time on my Spear Tomb, and I go back into Hitmonchan, I know I can outspeed and kill this thing since I have a black belt, and I know if he wants to go into a slow king, I can get another spin off, and his sand slash is pretty weak at this point. So kill that thing, he brings an Entei. I thought the extreme speed was coming, so I go into my Steelix, but uh yeah, he just goes straight for a flare blitz. I for some reason thought him on could outspeed, and it probably can if I had Jolly, but I'm adamant so Entei was going to outspeed regardless, but now that he's locked into Flare Blitz, I can bring in my Bandit Scyther, go for area. he says nothing is going to want to take two of these at this point, and brings in Sand Slash, trying to take one, but that is not going to take two at all, sir. So get out of here, your Stealth Rocker is gone, your Rapid Spinner is gone, so take that. But now he brings in Slow King, he can definitely live one, but, um, yeah, he goes for a Scald, and it does not kill me, and it does not burn me, so he basically just lost a second Pokemon. He really should have gone into Rotom there. And because of that, he loses his Slow King, which was the main thing stopping my Hitmonchan and my Magmortar. So that is very, very cool. So Scyther just put lots and lots of pressure on his team, broke, broke down his wall core. But now he brings in Rotom Volt, switches into Entei. I go into Hitmonchan. Because if I uh, mock punch him here, he's forced to go for his Flare Blitz. Because if he if he tried to kill me with Extreme Speed, that is, I could bring in Spear Tomb. And if I mock punch, I know he'll die to recoil. So yes, the Entei is dead. But now he has his Rotom. I do have a Scarf Mag Mortar, but I kind of derped up. And yeah, <laughs> Scarf Rotom is actually Scarf faster than Scarf Mag Mortar. 
so basically what I have to do is bring in my Spear Tomb, go for a rest, the Thunderbolt is doing around 44%, so I really need to get lucky with my Sleep Talk rolls. What I need to do is either get two Dark Pulses, or get a Calm Mind and then a Dark Pulse, or basically just not get a rest. So, first Sleep Talk, I get a Calm Mind, which is very good, which means even if I don't get a Dark Pulse this next turn, I can still take two Thunderbolts and rest off. But fortunately, I do get the Dark Pulse on this next Sleep Talk, which is going to take out this Rotom. So yes, that is a very, very, very close game. This guy definitely knew what he was doing. He had the Toxic on the Slow King, he had the Fastest Cavalier, so... Definitely lots of respect towards him. That was a very good battle. So, hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Hopefully we'll get to show you this team more in detail in the near future. And yeah, please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. And subscribe if you want to see more all that stuff you guys know already. But yes, um, hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you later. Peace.